today on Nurture the Door we're talking about math discovery centres which are fantastic things to have in your home, your home school or your classroom to help your children learn important math skills. By the end of this video you'll know what a math discovery centre is, how to set one up for your children and how to get great printables and activities to include in your centre. If you're new here, I'm Cathy, the founder of Nurture Store, which is a great resource for you if you're teaching children. We're all about learning through play and hands-on activities to raise happy, confident and skilled children. You can think of Nurture Store as your teaching fairy godmother, as I give you ready-made lesson plans, activities, ideas and lots of great resources to save you time and help you teach better. Today, I'm sharing ideas and resources to help you teach your children math skills through math discovery centres. Let's start by talking about what a math discovery centre is. Put very simply, a math discovery centre is a place children can play with math equipment and concepts in an open-ended way. It's very similar to a nature table. It's usually set up on a table or a shelf with materials gathered together and available for children to explore. The aim of a discovery centre is to spark mathematical curiosity, exploration and thinking. A discovery centre can focus on math in general, but is often themed around a specific topic, such as numbers, volume or symmetry. The kind of things that might be available for children in a math discovery centre on your table or on your shelf might include number lines, scales, counting cards, loose parts, rulers, calculators, pens and pencils, books about math, posters and photographs. There's no specific rule so you can include things you already have around your home or in your classroom and I'll also tell you in this video where you can get great printables to use in your discovery centre. So why are math centres so good for children? Well, adding a math centre to your classroom or your home education space brings many benefits. They're so versatile and you can theme the centre to any topic of your choice and fill it with relevant items for your children to explore. While they're spending time in the centre, your children get to be hands-on, picking up things, exploring and learning about them. They'll get to see how math is relevant to the real world if they're investigating tape measures or kitchen weighing scales or thermometers. They'll be able to learn about your chosen topic more widely. For example, they'll see how the numbers that they're starting to count with relate to dice and money and menus and recipes and football match results. The centre can give them an opportunity to consolidate what they already know and think up ideas, questions and experiments that they would like to pursue to learn even more. Keep listening to learn the best things to put in a math discovery centre and where to get great printables for a variety of math themes but first of all let's think about the best way you can use a math discovery centre with your children whether you're a teacher in a class or a parent at home. The time children spend in a discovery centre isn't really intended to be a specific adult-led lesson, but rather a time to play and be hands-on with the materials and the concepts. I've got another video coming up about math stations, which will help you if you want to have more adult-led activities. Um, but today, thinking about discovery centres, think about your room and where you could use a small table or a shelf to gather together materials to make a discovery centre. Depending on how you organise your class or your family life, you might like to have the discovery centre continuously available for the children to visit whenever they want, or you might prefer to allocate them specific time to go and explore. This could be on arrival, when they've finished another activity and are waiting for the next thing to start, or while you're working with other children or doing something else. Children can spend time in the centre alone, in pairs or in small groups. Playing in the centre with others is a great opportunity for children to share what they know. 
perhaps they'll be able to answer each other's questions and as they're exploring they're also developing their language and new vocabulary. And then, following the time that they've spent in the Discovery Centre, you can gather everyone together, perhaps at circle time or snack time, and talk with the children about what they've been doing, seeing, what they noticed, what they were thinking about while they were using the Discovery Centre. Ask them what they did in the centre and what they'd like to do next. I'll give you ideas for what things to include in your Maths Discovery Centre in a minute, but one thing you can include in all centres to make them work more successfully and to help your children get started with the materials on offer is written question prompts. As they're written down, it also helps to create a print-rich environment that encourages your children to read. You can also add paper and pencils so they can begin to write down their own questions to answer them themselves, or you might want to use them as talking points with other children, um, or things to pick up on and talk about later when you chat about the centre in your circle time. Once you get the use of discovery centres established in your routine, you'll likely find that your children come into class or down from breakfast or home from school excited to see what's in this week's Discovery Centre and what today's question is going to be. Question prompts you can add to your Discovery Centre include what do you know about numbers, time, fractions or what can you find out about numbers, time, fractions and then you can include specific questions to match the theme that you're exploring such as for example can you make a repeating pattern? What can you count? What can you measure? Can you see anything tiny? Can you find something symmetrical? Now let's talk about what you can include in a discovery centre. You'll have lots of things already in your home or your classroom that you can gather together and oversure. And you can also ask to borrow things from your colleagues, friends, family. So the centre can be set up easily and really for little or no cost at all. Any discovery centre on any theme benefits from having writing materials, that's pens and paper, and the written question prompts that we've already talked about. A poster or a chart for children to write down what they already know about the topic and what they want to learn is a good idea. This is sometimes called a KWL chart, which stands for what I know, what I wonder and what I've learned. If you'd like to know more about these KWL charts and how to use them, you can use the link in the video description to find out more about that. You can also include information and fiction books about the topic and a variety of relevant posters and photographs. Um, it's a good idea to include a variety of loose parts and equipment to match the theme of the centre and some great examples of those coming up. On the Nurture Store website, I've got two brilliant resources for you if you're teaching math and want to set up some discovery centres for them. The first is our Fun Math series. This resource gives you playful hands-on math activities for all the main concepts you want to teach your children. So we all want to cover things like numbers, counting, place value and arithmetic and Fun Math will give you a play-based lesson for every one of these key concepts including lots of ideas for math discovery centres and lots of printables that you can use in them. If this sounds like it will be helpful to you, come and use the link in the video description to get your copy of all these resources. Secondly, if you're a member of our Play Academy, you already have access to all our bonus printables. These include lots of principles that are perfect for adding to math discovery centres. Things like number cards, number wheels, printable clocks, fractions, pizzas, pattern sheets and lots more. So please help yourself to these principles and if you're not yet a member of the Play Academy or you don't even know what the Play Academy is, check out the link in the video description and come and join us. It'll make your teaching so much easier. So with all these Nurture Store principles and resources, you'll be able to make some great discovery centres. Here are some suggestions that illustrate what you might include in a variety of themed math discovery centres, which can accompany the different topics that you'll want to teach your children about in your math lessons. 
You don't need to have all the items I'm going to suggest and you can adapt them based on your children's interests and what you have available, but here are some ideas to get you started. For example, if you wanted to set up a numbers discovery centre, you could include printed digits in a variety of media, including the number cards from the Fun Math and the Play Academy printables, some sticks to make tallies, a sensory writing tray with the number cards alongside, some dice, some loose parts to count with. Maybe you will have unit blocks, paper clips, buttons or stickers. You can include the 10 frames and 100 square printables, which are again included in the fun math printables. The question prompts, as we've talked about earlier in the video, and a number line. As another example, if you want to make a discovery centre to explore volume, alongside the core items that are great for every centre that we've talked about earlier in the video, you might also include a sand or a water tray and containers in different shapes and sizes. Add in some jugs, spoons and cups so your children can fill the containers and play around with the idea of volume in a hands-on way. The question prompts that you might write for them in this centre could be asking how many cups do you need to fill each container or which jug holds the most water. For a weight or mass discovery centre you might include balance scales, a manual scale and a digital scale or a bathroom scale to weigh themselves on and other items to weigh um, in different shapes and sizes. I think it's quite fun to include pictures of things to sort by weight, for example a mouse, a dog, a cow, an elephant and a blue whale. On the Nurture Store website we also have more lists of things that you can put together if you want to make discovery centres about time, shapes, size, maps, temperature and money. If you'd like these lists, help yourself using the link in the video description. So now you know what a discovery centre is, how to set one up and you've got some ideas for how to use one to suit you and the way you run your classroom or homeschool. So thinking about the next math topic you're going to be teaching your children, what discovery centre could you put together for it? I'd love you to tell me what you're planning to do and do take a look at the resources on the website to see which ones fit your theme. And if you're stuck and need some more ideas, leave a comment telling me what your topic is and I'll see if I can help. Coming up, we've got more ideas for math stations, including how they're different to discovery centres and how they can be equally valuable to you in your classroom. So do subscribe so you don't miss that. And until next time, have a great week with your children.